Hello and welcome to a new episode of Tips and Tricks. We have here our data analyst getting more and more frustrated while working with the Mint report. The result of the report is so big that she doesn't understand what the numbers are telling her. So I would like to show her how to get a first and very simple overview. Let's go! So here we are in our Mint system on the reports page and I prepared already a small report. We are querying here the record item, the AKP grade and the assignment date. Right, that's what we want to know. So execute query and we can see it is a real big report. A lot of rows are shown here and it is understandable that our data analyst gets frustrated because what does this tell us? Nothing. Right? This really doesn't tell us anything. Fortunately, we have Jupyter. So we open Jupyter and the first thing that we have to do is we have to enter our two important libraries. Import pandas as pd, import numpy as np. That's what we have to do here. And now there's a powerful statement in Jupyter, which is the group by statement. So we want to take our data frame and group it by the record items, for example, record items. And then we have to tell the system, so what are we interested? Well, let's say we are interested in the sum of the values, right? So that's great. We can see how often, uh, what's the grade of this of, of, of what we have here. So perform flight planning in the sum is 3,112. Well, that's not very meaningful and that doesn't help us much. But if we are interested in the mean value, that already tells a lot more. And here you can see, ah, this is what we really maybe wanted to know. But there is Pandas and Jupyter offers you even uh, better ways to, to show this data. So we can, rather than having here this value, we can give different values for different columns. So we can say aggregate, this, this, right? And then we say, we want to see the assigned date. And for the assigned date, we would like to get the last value. All right, that's what we do for the assigned date. Then for our grade, as before, we want to see the mean value. Okay, mean. This is what we do. Okay, let's see how this looks like. Now you can see we have the grade value here and we have for our assignment date always the last value. This already tells us a lot more as if we want to have that. Now let's assume that for the grade we are not only interested in the mean value, we also would like to see the standard deviation. How is that possible? In this case we just have to put a list here. So we put this brackets mean and then let's say we are also interested in the standard deviation like this. Let's see how that looks like. You see? Now in this case, for the grade, we see the mean and the standard deviation. How cool is this? Just with this one line of code. Now there's even another feature in here which makes it even more visible. You can say at the end, we put a style in there and we want to highlight uh, the max value, for example, the max value, and we tell the system which color we are wanting for the max value. Let's say, for example, that's yellow. And then uh, we can also say uh, we have another highlight for the min value, highlight min, and the color in this case is uh, light blue. For example, hope I haven't made any mistake. See, and now it 
it has this one here. You can see immediately what's happening here. So here you can see the maximum values, right, for the yellow one, and the others are the minimum values. How cool is this? And I think with this, our data analyst already gets a better overview of what she had before. Thank you.